From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi there, everyone. Power 5 meteorologist Brian Shaw here. Partly cloudy skies for this evening into tonight. Temperatures are going to stay mild for us. We'll drop down to the low 70s, and then we're pretty much staying there for tomorrow. Rain showers are going to move in by morning. It'll be a pretty wet day. Highs only in the low 70s. Thank you, Brian. Here's a look at today's top stories. A Cleveland police officer in trouble with the law tonight for what he allegedly did to a 12-year-old girl. Solomon Niwatiwa is facing numerous charges, including attempted kidnapping, pandering obscenity, and public indecency. He's accused of asking the girl if she needed a ride to school. Then when she said no, coming back around and urinating on her while possibly recording it with his phone. He is now suspended without pay. He was hired as a Cleveland police officer five years ago. The state fire marshal is investigating a fire that destroyed an Amish flea market in Holmes County. At one point, there were at least 20 departments on scene from five counties helping to put out flames at Walnut Creek Flea Market. No one was hurt, but several vendors lost everything. A Walnut Creek flea market on the other side of Sugar Creek burned down in 2000. Governor Mike DeWine signed an executive order to create the Ohio School Safety Center to specifically focus on preventing and addressing school violence. It will open tomorrow with seven state workers who are being moved to the center, including intelligence analysts who will scan social media and websites for school threats. The center also will review school safety plans and help train school's threat assessment teams. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open the News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.